It's Platt, and today we go to Northern California. That's next to Platt's Beer of the Week. So the particular beer we have today is the Peanut Butter Chocolate Milk Stout. It comes to us from Lost Coast Brewing. Um, Lost Coast Brewing was founded in 1989 in Eureka, California. Uh, Eureka is right off the coast, Pacific Coast there in Northern California in Humboldt County, about 100, 200 miles north of San Francisco. So it's uh, on the way northern uh, end of California, just south of Oregon. Uh, Eureka is home to several uh, famous people, including uh, actor Brendan Fraser, uh, lead singer of Faith No More, Mike Patton, and the great venerable actor Lloyd Bridges, who you might remember from uh, the movie Airplane, kind of stole the show with the line, I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing airplane glue. So thank you, Eureka, California, uh, for that. Uh, the brewery itself was founded by Wendy Pound and Barbara Groom. Um, very rare to have female bar owners, um, especially especially uh, back then. Nowadays, fortunately, we got more women into brewing, but back in uh, 89, when they founded the company, that was, a, that was a rarity, even though I want to say at the time they were the second female-owned owned brewery in Humboldt County. So um, just for whatever reason, Humboldt County had two female-owned uh, breweries, which is kind of cool. Uh, the planning for uh, Lost Coast Brewing actually dates back to 1986. They had already started taking trips over to Europe to uh, research English, Welsh-style pubs. And it was over there that Barbara kind of had the aha moment. They were in a pub and they were like, wait a minute, I can make beer and we can hang out in pubs like this and run one and, you know, make money getting to do this. Yes, let's let's do that. So they were all fired up and they picked a really unique location for the brewery. They bought the Pythian Castle from the Fraternal Order of the Knights of Pythias. Now a lot of you may not know who those fine folks are, but I lucked out and had an interaction with them where I grew up in Texas. There was a local Pythian home for boys. Um, they did a lot of great work for at-risk youth back in the day, and they had a castle on the premise, which I always thought was cool as a kid you drive by that. Uh, they had softball fields that we would play at on the facility, so it was kind of cool. But the idea of a castle for a brewery, Top notch. So if you know anybody who's got an extra castle around, let me know. Maybe I'll put a brewery in it. Um, they ended up opening the brewery and the pub eventually in 1990 when they opened to the public. Uh, unfortunately, date at the time of this ta taping, uh, they're still, because of the pandemic, their pubs are still closed to the public, even though they are distributing beer still. Uh, they moved around over the years, finally settling in their current location in 2014, where they built out a full uh, size production brewery. They bottle roughly about 135,000 bottles of beers a day, and they fill about 1,000 kegs a day, so a pretty uh, large operation. Well, before we try this particular, oh, real quick, let's talk about some of their other beers, and jump in the gun there. Uh, some of their other beers include uh, Great White, an unfiltered Belgian wheat. Uh, I love the name. It's probably one of the beers of theirs you've seen out there. Uh, I love the name because of Northern California, the surfers, the sharks off the coast. It fits. Uh, next is probably their most popular beer, or one you might have heard of the most. It's Downtown Brown, their brown ale. Uh, it was the first beer they distributed. Ended up winning uh, bronze at the 1993 Great American Beer Festival. Uh, the next beer is their most controversial beer, which I hope by this point in time we kind of realize it was silly, but it was what it was. Their Indica IPA. For those of you that may or may not know, Indica is a strain of cannabis. And they end up getting sued over that name. Now, I don't know if it was because people were like, oh, they put marijuana in the beer, we're suing them for that, or... Well, hey, they're implying there's marijuana in the beer, and it's not in there. We're suing for that. But uh, they had cases go all the way up to the California Supreme Court, and somehow the country of India got involved. Now, I don't know how they're upset about the term Indica, but who knows. But hopefully calmer heads have uh, prevailed, and we, we can get past such silliness. And last but not least is their Winter Brawn. It's their Winter Warmer, won silver at the 1998 uh, World Beer Championships. So, that being said, before we try this particular beer, let's check out the stats. So, 
So, all right, got something special for you today. Uh, before we try this beer, I got a little announcement. The fine folks at Super Clean have reached out to me and they want to do a little giveaway for one of my viewers. So, I thought what I'd do today is we'd have a little trivia contest. Now, real quick, I have to state this is limited to viewers in the continental U.S. I apologize to all my foreign viewers, but that's the rules. Uh, if you live in the continental U.S. and would like to have Super Clean sent to you, be the first in the comments below to answer this question. Um, I've been doing the Platt's Beer of the Week series for about a year and a half now. And I want to know, what was the very first beer I reviewed on Platt's Beer of the Week? The first one to put the answer in the comments below will get super clean sent to them at their house. So, if you're looking for tough task cleaner and degreaser, check out Super Clean and answer that question below. So with that being said, let's get back to our uh, beer review. All right, time to try our peanut butter milk stout. If you watch the channel, you know I love these type of beers. I, I think the flavors are really unique. Um, again, a, a, you know, a chocolate flavor in a beer is easy to do. The peanut butter just really complements. Um, there's some really cool variations out there. There's now some peanut butter and jelly beers out there so uh definitely a lot to play around with with that uh who knows maybe somebody might make a nutello beer who knows but let's go ahead and try this one from the fine folks at lost coast all right pours nice and black little bit of it well we end up getting about a fingers worth of head uh that's one thing some of these peanut butter beers you might not get a good head because the oil from the uh, peanut, depending on how they use the peanut powder, what have you. Um, but a lot of times the oil will kind of uh, affect the head, but we get a decent sized head. Let's give her a smell. All right, you get a little bit of that peanut butter right on the nose. Um, these type of beers, you're not going to get really any hops on there, so let's give her a try. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Um, the peanut butter is subtle compared to some of these other beers. Um, the body on this beer is actually, uh, I'm not going to say light, but it's lighter. Again, a lot of these beers are a little more viscous, a little heavier. Um, I've always talked about that these beers aren't something you would chug. You might have one or two, but this one uh, actually is quite, quite drinkable. Yeah, real nice. Uh, just nice executed stout with a slight hint of peanut butter. Um, I get more of a kind of milk chocolate kind of vibe. Some of these sometimes will be the more harsher or, or you know, like a coca type chocolate to them. But this is more kind of the more of a milk chocolate taste to it. Um, I don't get some of the... You, sometimes you'll get those coffee roasted espresso type notes in some of these beers. This not so much. Um, again, body wise, a little more drinkable than some of these uh, peanut butter milk stouts. Overall, a, a, a solid execution um, compared to like the Belching Beaver beers I've talked to you about before or whatever. Um, not as much peanut butter, but uh, still a nice executed. Very drinkable beer. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or beers that you would like me to try, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.